Hello everyone. I have a new instrument I'd like to show you today. This is a dulcimer based off of a Wiesenborn lap guitar body. Um, have you seen some of my most recent videos? You probably noticed that I've been playing the bigger body dulcimers, uh, like the Gold Tone Dulcelborn, um, the Hawaiian style dulcimer built by Ben Seymour, and now this. Um, I like the, the deeper, more bassier tone and, the, and also gives you more volume with the bigger bodies. And this one is built by James McAnulty. Um, he also built the hourglass dulcimer that you see me play in many of my videos. And uh, he also just uh, converted a regular hourglass of his into a um, chromatic for me. And you'll see videos with the chromatic stuff uh, later on. But I just wanted to show this to you. Uh, he let me borrow this for a couple weeks. It's just it's his first one, his prototype. And uh, I think he knocked it out of the park on the first one. Um, the top is Western Red Cedar. The back and sides are cherry. And he has a fantastic piece of cherry here on the back. Dust off there. Um, nice swirls in the cherries. I, I really like that. And also the stripe of the center is very nice as well. Um, like I mentioned, the bigger bodies also give you more volume. And then this, this one has the addition of a Galax back, which uh, would give any dulcimer uh, more volume, allow it to resonate more, vibrate more. And when you add that to a bigger body dulcimer, whew, this thing has got some volume and it just resonates and just goes on and on. It's pretty amazing what he's done with this on his first attempt at a bigger body dulcimer. And uh, I like it so much, I think I'm gonna have him build me one. Uh, it sounds great with everything I play on it, uh, especially with flat picking. When flat picking, the notes just sound so clear to my ear. I think the wood combination also has something to do with that. Uh, the, uh, the fretboard overlay is rosewood and he has a couple of mother of pearl um, inlays there, his logo, and then there's an owl there. So I just wanted to, to show you this. I'll play a few tunes so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, and I'll show you some, uh, some pictures I took of it as well, get a better view of it. Also, this has self-trimming tuners. They're a little uh, pricier option. This is the first time I've uh, ever uh, had an instrument with them on it, but uh, you don't have to wrap the string around the post. You just slide it in there, get it where you need it, trim it, and then you can just adjust from there. So it's pretty cool how that works. Um, so uh, that's pretty neat as well. But let me play a few tunes so you can hear what it sounds like, and we'll go from there. feeling this thing vibrate on my lap while I play it. <laughs> now let's uh, I'll try a flat picking tune so you can see if what you hear is the same as I hear is the notes are just very clear uh, when I pluck them so let's see.
Well, so there you have it, the Wiesenborn style mountain dulcimer built by James McAnulty. Uh, his website's uh, jaminstruments.net. You can see what he has for sale, uh, what he's, uh, other instruments that he's built and sold. And this will be on here too with, with some pictures. Um, I'll also show some pictures of this at the very end of this video. Um, um, I'm not getting paid to endorse this or anything like that. Uh, I just wanted to make a video and show you what he's done because I think it's pretty cool. And I'll be sad to, to give it back at the end of the, I'm already one week in, I got another week to go and I have to give it back. But uh, I think I'll have him build me one because I really like it. So uh, that's it. Hope everyone's staying safe out there and keep on playing.